Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Gerald Welling and Kepler. This very beautiful chess game was played in Liege in 1983. Welling had white pieces and he started with e4. Kepler played c5, the very popular Sicilian defense. Why to move? Knight to c3 was played. Well, knight to f3 is the most played move. It is a good move. White intends to play d4. However, if you play this way, you will need to learn tons of theory. Back to our game. Welling played knight to c3, intending f4. d6, f4. This is known as the grand pre-attack. Knight to c6, Knight to f3, g6, bishop to c4, bishop to g7, castling. This is an easy pattern to remember, isn't it? Kepler played e6, giving more control to the f5 square. It is white to move. The two most played moves are the solid d3 and the aggressive f5. Welling played f5 sacrificing the pawn. e takes on f5, d3, knight went g to e7, queen to e1, castling queen to h4. This is the standard move in the grand prix attack. In some variations white is intending bishop to h6. So if a6 is played, then bishop to h6, trading dark squared bishops. However, if knight to d4, threatening to take the pawn on c2, then bishop to g5, and after rook to e8, knight to d5, and white stands much better. Back to our game. In this position, Kepler played h5, preventing bishop to h6 by white. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight, Queen to c7, rook from a to e1, f takes on e4, d takes on e4, a6, intending b5, and if the bishop goes to b3, then c4, trapping the bishop. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Welling played bishop to f6, bishop to g4, knight to g5, bishop takes on f6, rook takes bishop, Knight to e5, threatening, knight takes bishop on c4, maybe. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Instead of moving the bishop, Welling played h3, black to move. Bishop takes pawn on h3 was played, giving up the bishop because he has knight takes on c4. This is the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Rook takes on g6. Check. If you have found this move, congratulations. Knight from 7 takes on g6. Well, the knight from 5 takes on g6 is not better. Knight from 7 takes on g6. Queen to h5, threatening checkmate. King to g7, with his royal shoes on, the black king is running to save his life. Queen to h7, check. King to f6, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Welling played rook to f1, check, sacrificing the knight. King takes knight, what else? If king goes to e7, then what happens then? then knight to d5 check is slightly unpleasant. So we have king takes knight. The black king is better fighter than the rest of his army. Queen takes on h3. And the black king is now between the rook and the hard place. White is threatening rook to f5 check mate. Knight to e7 preventing check mate. Knight to d5 attacking the defender of the f5 square. Queen to d7. White to move and there is more than one way to continue. 
Welling picked the best way. Queen to e3 check, King to g6, Rook to f6 check, King to g7, Queen to h6 check, King to g8, what now? How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Welling continued in a grand style with Rook to g6 check, F takes on g6, what happens if Knight takes on g6? then knight to f6 check mate so we have f takes and g6 white to move and to checkmate in one and the move is again knight to f6 check double check check mate wow absolutely amazing isn't it what do you think of the grand prix attack would you like to learn to play this opening you are lucky a link for the free course is available in the description below the video. Please click on the link below the video and enjoy your free Grand Prix attack course. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.